Hello, I'm going to do the Capricorn energy reading. As always, take what resonates, leave what does not. All right. Let's see what we got going on today and who needs to hear a message with this reading. All right, so we have the current situation is the Nine of Pentacles, and that's being crossed by the Justice card. I feel unfair. That's the first thing I felt, is that you feel that something is unfair, unjust. What do you need to focus on? The Fool? What are you leaving behind? The Hermit? Your strengths. Ten of Cups. Love that. Near Future is Five of Pentacles. Advice. The Star. The Environment. The Chariot. Look, we got a, a lot of major... Arcana cards here, so strong messages for someone. Hopes and fears, Ace of Swords, and potential outcome, Ace of Wands. Look at this, I love this. Um, and I felt like the next card and the, uh, it's no longer holding yourself back. We have the bottom of the deck is, it's time to move on from a situation that you're feeling that is unfair to you. And it's up to you to make those choices, right? It's up to you to make those decisions and those choices to say, you know what, this isn't working for me and it's time for me to move on. So we have the current situation, which is the Nine of Pentacles. And I feel like you're not getting the rewards or you're not getting that, the the results or it, it, it's not, I almost feel like you're working harder instead of working smarter in a situation. And I just feel like it's something that's not balanced. It's something that's not, it's not in your favor. You either feel that way or things are not working in your favor. And I feel that it's time for you to, to branch out and start something new because what you need to focus on is we have the Fool card here. And it's time for you to move on and to pack light. I always like how he has such a small, um, there's such a small bag there because He's packing light. He doesn't want, he or she doesn't want to have all of this baggage. And I feel that, I just feel for some reason that you're working really hard at something and you're just not getting those rewards that you deserve. And I feel that like you, you enjoy what you're doing or you like what you're doing, but it's almost like you're not getting what it is that you deserve. And I feel like that's something that you need to see, that all of your hard work and that I feel like you keep giving and giving and giving in a situation and you're just not getting back. And I feel that it's time for you to, to get back because why run yourself into the ground and have nothing to show for it? or feel like this sense of loss. So I feel that it's time, what do you need to focus on is moving forward, setting yourself free, trying something different. How do you pack lighter? How do you turn things around here for you? And have more fun. I feel I, this dog seems to be sticking out to me is, is how the dog is kind of jumping up and he seems all excited and, it's almost like taking that leap of faith because the fool is like, I'm just going to walk off the edge of this cliff and I'm not worried about it. I'm just going to take these chances. I'm just going to do these things and I'm not worried about it. What you're leaving behind is the hermit. It also could be a Virgo, but I feel like it's that feeling like you're closed in, feeling like you're shut off. And I feel like it's kind of being that going with, within yourself because I feel that this is starting to wear on you where you're not getting those the return and it's starting to wear on you. And I feel like this is something that you are realizing and you're saying, you know what, I, I, I feel myself shutting down and closing off and I need to make some changes here. Your strengths is the 10 of cups and I love that. It's happiness, it's brightness, it's excitement, it's, it's achievements and it's stability and it's that fulfillment within yourself. Near future, I feel this card represents you having to walk away from something and I feel that you're going to feel like you're on the outside and you're feeling like this is something different and it's almost like 
like you, there may be a struggle, but I feel it's definitely going to be worth it. Sometimes we need that struggle. Sometimes we need those challenges in order to show us how strong that we are and to show us how how dedicated we are to ourselves and that we're not just going to settle in and be comfortable, that we want to keep pushing ourselves to attain this 10 of cups here. The advice is be your own guiding star, be your own star, be your own guidance. I feel that it follow the direction that you feel that you're led into. Um, I was listening to, um, you know how I love Alex Hormozzi. So I was listening to one of his videos yesterday and he was saying about um, how that if in your mind, if there's a person that you want to be, if a goal that you have and to feel that energy of that person and say, and put yourself in that situation and say, well, if this, this is the person that I want to be, how would they deal with the situations that I have going on right now? How would they answer? Like, how would they deal with a situation? Would they keep putting up with a situation that was unfair or they felt that wasn't just to them? No, they would not deal with that. They would make some changes and they would go through those things that they needed to go through in order to achieve where they are now and kind of thinking of your your future self how would your future self solve problems that you have going on right now or how would they it's almost like talking to yourself and saying you know how would I solve this I feel that it's a lot of self-empowerment within yourself and saying okay I have to deal with this situation myself and if I'm not feeling that something is just then I need to change that I might feel uncomfortable about it but I feel that I am guiding myself and I always love the chariot here because I feel like it's you're in control of the choices and decisions that you make and you're driving it and you're choosing okay am I going to take a right here am I going to take a left am I going to go straight am I going to go backwards Am I going to stop? Am I going to go? How fast am I going to go? All of these choices and decisions that you're making, that those are up to you. Who do you focus on? Who do you keep in your life? What things do you keep doing? Um, what things don't you want to do? And I feel like you're driving this. This is the environment. You are in control of all of the choices. And if you choose to stay in an environment where you feel that it's not rewarding or that it's not giving you back what you want it to give back, then that's your choice to stay in that energy or to move on from that energy. We have the hopes and fears, which is the Ace of Swords, and it's a new thought process, kind of seeing things from a different perspective. And I've always said is use those tools that you have um, that can help you to see the light in situations. And listening to those podcasts, listening to those people that can help spark you. I've listened to definitely different people over the years that have helped me, that have motivated me, that have pushed me forward. And, and sometimes that changed. Some people I don't listen to anymore. Some people I'm still listening to, but it's, it's sometimes it's just one sentence or it's one one thing that they say or they do that helps them to, that helps you to see things from a different light. Give yourself as much information as possible. Surround yourself. This is something that I've been dealing with is, do I want to spend my time watching TV or do I want to spend my time listening to a podcast or listening to a book or working on a project or how am I using my time? How am I using my time? Am I using my, my time constructively that is helping me to reach my goals or am I just trying to numb myself and, and not deal with things and avoid things? Yes, there are days where we need to just relax. We need to take things easy. We need to have that downtime. I'm not saying that, but I'm saying just again, a different way of thinking and saying, how am I using my time? Am I using it constructively? Am I, am I reaching towards my goals? Am I, if I don't feel like doing something, can I listen to something like driving in the car? Um, it takes me 30 minutes, 35 minutes to get to the barn. So I can listen to a podcast and learn some information, or I can listen to a book or I can listen to music. So how can that time, even though I'm driving in the car, how can that time be more productive? If you're looking for more time, 
in your life. And then we also have the Ace of Wands, which is actually taking actions to make those changes. So the potential outcome is freeing yourself. Take the actions to free yourself from these swords that you have enclosed yourself, uh, right? That is where the, this justice is on the side. And it's you have to take the actions. You can think about it all that you want, but it isn't going to result in anything unless you take the actions to make it happen. It's a two-step process there. And the overall energy is, is freeing yourself and moving on and moving forward and continuing that journey or starting that journey, right? Um, that person that you see yourself that you want to become and that you want to be, if you're not that person right now, when do you want to start that? Thinking about that, is it in this moment? Is it today? Is it making those changes? Is it taking those actions? And I just feel like it's time to move on and it's it's time to, yeah, there's going to be some challenges here with the water that is a little, um, that's a little rough there, but most of it is all clear and it's all smooth sailing and releasing yourself and setting yourself free here. It's all up to you because you're driving the chariot. You are deciding where to go, how to go, how fast to go and what to focus on and being your own guiding light and your guiding star. Yes, there's going to be some uncomfortableness, but that is what brings you to that next level and that next, right? Your, your next adventure. <laughs> What is your next adventure? All right, so let me grab a animal oracle card here. We have crow spirit, co-create with spirit. And I feel like the signs are around you. The signs are there. Are you willing to see them and not only see them, but do something with them and react to them. And with that Ace of Wands is changing those actions and then freeing yourself from the um, Eight of Swords. Let's see, let me grab, let's grab a Wisdom of the Oracle. I feel like this one right on top here. No place like home, I love that, that's perfect. No place is home is feeling comfortable in your own skin. Do you feel comfortable in your own skin? Do you feel that you know, you can trust yourself, that you're looking out for yourself, that you're doing the best that you can do. No, nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. That's how we learn from things. But do you feel that you're driving this chariot and it, you feel comfortable within your own skin? Um, and if you don't, what are those things that need to be changed? Are you telling yourself negative talk? Are you telling yourself positive talk? What is that inner dialogue that you have going on within yourself? And is that something that, right? Is that something that you need, that you need to work on? We have, um, we have the angel answers and we have no. And that can represent so many different things. It could be, no, I don't want to shut down. I don't want to close myself off. I don't want to be like that hermit. Um, I don't want to have injustice or things that are not fair. I don't want to deal with that energy anymore. Sometimes we have to say no to situations, but that opens the door to say yes to something else. All right, and then let's grab a final one with a Star Dragons card. We have the self gathering your power. So this is definitely one about self-motivation and gathering your power, but the main thing is that you have to feel comfortable in your own skin. And it's not only thinking about things, but it's, it's also doing things, taking those actions, showing and proving to yourself that you are ready to make changes, that you are looking out for yourself, that you want the best for yourself, that you know your potential, and that you're not making excuses to stop yourself from that, but you know your potential and you're following through with that. And you say, you know what? I deserve better than this situation. I deserve my nine of pentacles and I'm not getting that. And how do I change that to make things work for me? All right. Thank you so much for watching. As always, stay positive, stay safe, and I will see you next time.